Now we are interested in uh, running a C and C++ program in your fresh uh, Linux. That is, we are taking Ubuntu here. So what uh, IDE or what all IDEs we can install? We'll take an example, say code blocks. So how to go about this? Assume this is a fresh system. So first thing you are going to do is that on the left side you have some tabs. In this tab, all these tabs you can just uh, go through and you have to go to Ubuntu software. Just click it. Now if it is a fresh system, it's going to do some uh, you know back keeping activities. Now install updates explore is there. So you go to the search button and you say any software. I'm just taking an example. You can have code blocks for example. Now code blocks when I type here and uh, this is for C, C++ and Fortran. So this comes by itself. There has to be an internet, co internet connection. IDE for C, C++, Fortran. Now just install, install it because the button is in front of you. Press it and it will install. This code blocks will be installed on your system. It will ask for authentication. Give your root password, whatever it is. And once you do it, this will be installed. So 99% people will not have any trouble here. They will have code blocks. So what they will try to do, what you are going to do, because remove is this code blocks, we assume that it has been installed. So there are certain things, there are certain problems that may come to uh, different people, you know, different systems are there. So again, go to that search and type to search. And you just try to find out whether code blocks, which we have just installed, has come or not. Is there any problem or whatever the case be. So I'm just trying to find it. So I am trying to write code blocks. And if you see here, that it is still searching. It is searching. And I don't know why. I'm not very versed, well versed with this. So when I see this, code blocks is not coming. Uh, no result is coming. So 99%, as I said, people will have it. But if they have any problem, just go to terminal on the left side, left bottom. I just clicked it and searched terminal. I came to the terminal. And then I came here. And what did I do? I tried to run it, run the code blocks from here. If you are on the route, just type code blocks, it will come. But if it is not coming, if it is not coming, then what we will do? We will try to find out GCC. Just type GCC. And you see, you see this GCC is not coming. That is GCC uh, dash dash and then version. That GCC will come. So, you know, the best idea is to have all the essentials which is required. So, you can just type sudo sudo apt install build essential. This you can do. So, this is an option. All the build essential, what is it required? It will be installed. 99% people will get through this. Okay, you they'll get all these things will be installed and GCC will be there. But still some people may have a problem like I am facing. So, it's not, uh, it just stops somewhere. Okay, no problem. Let's go again to this uh, terminal. Try this uh, code blocks. And if you see, it's still not up. It's still not up. So as I said, it's it's given that sudo apt install code blocks. It's the option is in front of you only. Means the command has given. So I'll just write this sudo apt install code blocks. You can type, copy and paste, or you can write it by yourself. It will ask for the the password. Now it goes through. So if first step, second step, you have not got through, this time you will get code blocks. Now the code blocks are in front of you. Take new. Go to project and go to console application and take C here, make a selection C and go to next project title, whichever you want, like my first program or the name of your choice, you can give here. So first program I have given and if you see the second line that is folder to create in project. So I have chosen a document, but you can choose any of these or you can make your own folder and then you can put these programs. And you have this folder where this file is going to be. This is the resulting file name. And now it will, it has taken GNU, uh, GCC compiler, it has taken. Now, the next thing will be, now there is, this is a new project. So this file has already come. I have done nothing. Now you build it. And how to see the result? For that, you go to view and go to the logs. F2, you can press also. So if you see, there is no problem, zero error, zero warning. So now we have built it. No errors are there. Now I want to run it. 
that is i want to give, set the result get give the result so i just go to the build and run and if you see this is the result now this i used i'm not only talking about code blocks i used an ide you can all use any ide and then you have run a program now you say no 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 i just want to type by myself on the terminal and then i'll make all the files and some everything i will do on command prompt or terminal i said okay will not use code blocks we'll get we will go but before that gcc is essential gcc is essential so for that what we will do again we'll go to the terminal this is like a command prompt as i said earlier now you can come to terminal here terminal you can put it on the desktop also now here what you are going to do you are going to type certain things and first check and then you have to see where you are going to make the files i don't want to make it in the root so i have to change it change the folder so cd desktop you can change you can make a folder and then you can go to that cd now i have come to the desktop i want to show you the files on the desktop so now i am going to make the c file how i am going to make it touch t o u c h t o u c h you are going to type after that give a space and type the file name you are interested in or you are going to make fp.c i have given, given fp for first program so the fp.c is going to be made here it will come here so i have a program already i just copied it so that i can just run it that will save save time or time to write now touch fp.c and now i am pressing enter whenever i press enter if you see this fp.c will be made on the desktop alt tab you can use alt tab to go in the different different uh, windows now this is fp.c now i'm pasting it when i paste it i just saved it this star will go now i'm pasting it uh, let me just uh, change it somewhere so that you know it becomes quite uh, relatable now i saved it fp.c is already made and this is just a text file we have done nothing we just made a text file or .c file now i want to why find make the exe or binary or executable for that i will do gcc gcc should be there okay gcc i told you already how to have it gcc fp.c slash o uh, sorry dash o and to run to run is the final file which is going to be made to run now this to run has been made here now this is a binary now i can execute it how to execute it alt tab you can change between different uh, windows now dot slash and then finally give this file name to run and the result will be in front of you and when you press enter it will be hello user okay so code blocks and command prompt both are in front of you thank you so much